You can't build muscle in this time. You can't do it. What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. I highly recommend you guys to watch Chris Lewis, aka Psycho Fitness, making Andrew Jad go through a back and hamstrings workout. That is as hardcore as it gets, with all the yelling and screaming by Psycho Fitness to motivate Andrew Jad to get out of his comfort zone and train harder than ever. So Psycho Fitness is fired up more than ever for this Arnold Classic because he has one of the most genetically gifted athletes of the modern times training under him. This is yours. All you have to do is just stick your hand out and grab it. That's all you have to do. This is yours. This is your destiny. You got everybody afraid. Everybody's talking about you. But it's not about them. It's about your accomplishment to yourself. Roll the third. To yourself. This is for you. This is for Andrew. For Andrew. And Chris Lewis's training is no joke. The late Sean Roden went on the record saying that the workouts him, Stan and Psycho did in 2018 were the best workouts of his life. I am sure Andrew feels the same way and everyone in the bodybuilding community believes that all Andrew can do for this prep is get sharper. But Chris doesn't feel the same way as you can hear from him. Because Andrew is a supreme athlete. They said he cannot build muscle in this time. And I think it's unfair for another man to tell another man what they cannot do. You can't build muscle in this time. You can't do it. Come on, Andrew, let's go. We got something to prove. So if anyone was curious how much Andrew weighs on stage, well, he weighs as much as Big Romy, if not more. And that was revealed by Andrew himself in Jake Hutler's podcast. Uh, Texas, I was uh, two nineties. Arnold UK, I think I was same like two two ninety two or two ninety one point six. Olympia was less. I was uh, two two eighty two eighty nine point something point six. I think. And as most of you guys already know, that Chris Asito is a conditioning guy. And he will try to bring Andrew in the best condition of his life. That means this upcoming Arnold will be his lightest on stage. Good Vito is an IFB pro now, planning to do his pro debut sometimes this year. And for that, he has a training partner, Emir, who also is an open bodybuilder and who trains extremely hard. Both these guys have the ambition to win a pro show this year and qualify for the big stage in November. Good Vito is a rare talent because of the insane proportions that he possesses. Yes, the back isn't as good as the front, but as young and motivated he is, he is gonna make his mark in the industry and I believe he is gonna bring up his weak areas. I don't think Vito had to push extremely hard to win his pro status when he competed last year. So I am expecting him to show up in much better condition and muscularity than ever he decides to go for his pro debut. There is no way 212 should be eliminated. It has such great talent, but that talent can only thrive as long as there is a weight cap because most of these guys are short in height and except a few of the top guys no one stands a chance in the open bodybuilding look at a guy like Harold Bajo who is prepping for New York Pro in May the guy is extremely muscular very thick and he is continuously improving I believe he was 7th at Mr. Olympia last year 
which is lower than what they were aiming for. Carrot has got those old man muscle, meaning he has insane density and muscle maturity. He also has great details in the side leg. I think he can definitely move up some places at the Olympia this year, but only in the 212. That's my point. Not everyone is built for open bodybuilding. So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.